Hi guys, I'm welcome to the video. Today I have Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me, and today we are going to install and review the Android Oreo, the Android 8.0.0 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So there are a couple of things which you need to do before you uh, start to install this ROM. So the first thing is TWRP. So you need to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge before you start to install this ROM. And you also need to download this ROM, of course. You can download the ROM from the description of this video. You can also download the GApps from the description of this video. And yeah, so now let's start with the installation process. The very first thing which you need to do is to power off your device. So let's do that quickly now. After your device is turned off, you need to press the volume up button, the home button and the power button to get to the recovery mode, as you know. So here in the TWRP recovery, you need to go to the wipe option, select advanced wipe, say devlic system, data, and cage. After you have uh, selected all these uh, things there, you just need to swipe to wipe. Then go back, go to the install option and locate your ROM. In my case, it's in the internal storage. Just press on there and locate your ROM. So this here is the ROM. Just press on it and swipe to flash. So the installation process is finished now, so you can also download the G-Apps and install the G-Apps if you want. But I'm not going to install the G-Apps because, you know, this ROM is not ready to be your daily driver already. And you also actually don't need the G-Apps and they are not really stable. So after you're finished with the installation, just go to the reboot section here and reboot the system. So now this, uh, the phone will boot up to the new ROM, you just need to wait. So as you can see the ROM booted up now and um, this is Android Oreo Lineage OS 15 on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Let me confirm that quickly. Here you can see that it says Android version 8.0.0. This Android Oreo Easter egg together with this strange octopus here, this crazy octopus which uh, lags like hell. And yeah. So this ROM here is quite stable but there are a few bugs which can annoy you a lot and one of these bugs is the sim card the developers are already working on the sim card issue but for now it is not working so you can't make any phone calls you can't use mobile data you can't write an sms and so on and the second bug is the screen rotation so as you can see the screen the screen rotation is turned on right now but if you go into the settings app of uh, for example the screen won't rotate so the screen rotation is broken here so these are the two main bugs of this rom of course it can have uh, uh, some different bugs but these are the two known bugs so far right everything else seems to work quite fine as you can see the wi-fi is working you can see all the wi-fi networks here bluetooth is also working um the flashlight is also working as you can see here the camera is also working you get a, ca a really simple camera app here and you won't get the best camera experience of course just like in lineage os 14.1 uh, but it's nice to see that there are so many features which are already working the fingerprint scanner is also working i have um as you can see the fingerprint icon is over there and it's and it works here with my right thumb but it won't unlock with my index here so the fingerprint scanner is also working kinda nice here another small bug is that you can't turn on the screen with the home button which uh, annoys me a lot so the only way to open or to unlock your phone is with the um, with the power button and yeah you can also unlock your phone without baking the screen here as you can see with your uh, fingerprint and yeah so this is pretty much it here 
So here in the app drawer, you can see that you get quite less apps together with this ROM. You can see you, you have these square icons here. So almost all of the um, icons have this square, square shape. So you get the calculator, which is the same just like an Android lollipop. You get the calendar app of Android KitKat and so on. The camera is also a quite basic Google camera app, this old um, camera app, you know. And so on, the Google Contacts app is also there. And yeah, you also get a file manager, which I personally really, really hate, to be honest. And yeah, so this is Android Oreo on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The new notification panel over here, which looks also quite fresh. And yeah, the brightness slider is also working even though it lags it a little, little bit as you can see here but um, yeah it works yeah so this was a short video of android oreo of n uh, of lineage os 15 on the samsung galaxy s7 and s7 edge if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give it a dislike as always and peace out